Hi everyone, we're looking at number 5 on page 333. Given the magnitude of A is 3, the magnitude of B is 5, and the magnitude of A plus B is 7, determine the magnitude of A minus B. So before we start, I do want to say that there are two different methods of solving this, and uh, in this video I just want to show you one possible method. So step 1, draw a diagram. The fact that the magnitudes are 3, 5, and 7 respectively, this implies it's going to be an obtuse triangle. And again, it's not drawn to scale, but you can imagine A is going to be right here, and the magnitude is going to be 3. And magnitude of B equals to 5. And the sum of vectors A and B the magnitude is going to be 7. So your goal is to find the magnitude of A minus B. So if you extend this diagram and you form a second triangle, remember opposite vectors are the same in magnitude but opposite in direction. So again, these are equal in terms of magnitude, but negative B is going to point in the opposite direction. And again, even though it's a negative vector, the magnitude of negative b is still going to be positive 5. And now, you're looking for this. The magnitude of a minus b. So if you begin with the end in mind, what you're really looking for is this angle. And once you find angle theta, you can apply the cosine law to find the magnitude of a minus b. And before you can find angle theta, you have to find this other angle that's called angle alpha. So from grade 10 you've done the sine law and the cosine law and to find alpha you're given the triangle side side side. So you can use the cosine law which means cosine alpha equals to 3 square plus 5 square minus 7 square divided by 2 times 3 times 5. And again if you take a calculator and you work this out Alpha equals to 120 degrees. So if you add this back into the diagram, this implies that theta must be 60 degrees. Now you can focus on the bottom triangle and you can apply the cosine law. So the magnitude of A minus B equals to the square root of 3 square plus 5 square minus 2 times 3 times 5 cosine 60 degrees. And again, if you work this out with your calculator and you leave the answer in exact form, this equals to the square root of 19. Or if you round your final answer to the nearest tenth, it's going to be approximately 4.4. .4. I hope this makes sense.